Welcome back. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. <coughs> belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this... Sinking feeling. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? What the? Hello? Jesus. Scared the hell out of me. Pick a cabin. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. You do get a gift. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. We haven't really explored this place yet. Okay, we got a workbench. A sawed-off shotgun. Okay. Let's sleep here. Sleep for eight hours. Oh. I don't even know what this does. She likes it. Moves times forward and supernova difficulty can only rest your bed. Oh, okay. Stick. Oh, okay. That's the respect. Respect. Those things aren't moving. No. It's living quarters. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. 
something vexing you, Captain? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra II some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra II. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifests to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Thank you, Captain. Okay, so we'll take him with when we go to Groundbreaker. Sealed, 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 sealed. Sealed, sealed. Jesus. How is it because I haven't talked to this ship yet? Captain, I have detected that Edgewater. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Here we go. First flight. Hi, Edgewater. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty, and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal.
<laughs> Never dream. It's funny. There's a science with my groundbreaker. It's a chest, a bed, sentry saber. Okay. So that's my captain's quarters. Oh, I leveled up. Can't take it off. Okay. Let's go to his lab first. We have some Welcome to the system uh We arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? I can bring them both. This work. Oh, damn it, blast that's loud. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since uh, 
In fact, I've never had a visitor. shrink ray in our chest. We'll keep like unique weapons that we're not going to use anymore in there. Can we talk? So Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? So we got two things to do on Groundbreaker. First we'll do, I guess we'll see whatever's closer. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't, Captain. Hey, 
Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Yeah, huh? That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. Customs and inspection, right this way! Something the matter? Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. What's your time if I just tell the truth? Surger is forced to return by heroic stranger. Captain. Hey, Captain. That's not the point. Hey, Captain. Customs and inspection right this way. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at. That's quite the impressive list of infractions. Identification, please. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt-side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space! Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. This really must be your first time here. There's no working with the board. They don't share, not bits, people, or resources. 
You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Sure thing. Be seeing you. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which blue chip, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice. Since his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting. I'm on my way. What do you think you're doing? Just don't complicate my job. Do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble on you. Hmm. Can't do that one yet. by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. What the fuck? It just me, or has it been deader than usual?
Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Junling's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back! I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that scream. Okay. I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub-level. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. <laughs> Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. <laughs> Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm so sure that's how I like it around here. Ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual... Real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone on board, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Something you need? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your permission. What do you think you're doing? Carry on. 
Do I get to keep those? Oh shit, okay. <clears throat> So what are we doing now? Oh, okay. Patrol nicked Thank you, man. Oh, neat. They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Oh, this should prove interesting, to say the least. Miss Lilia takes good care of us, see? Yeah. Sublight for life. Got any leads on salvage? How do I talk to, to someone? Take I want to just sell my stuff. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. What? Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Whoops. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Glad us that the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. Timey bay. Be seeing you. How do I sell shit? Like someone who's taken their share of cuts, and we also. Aha! So. There we go. Welcome.
Um. Where was that workbench? You know what's happening on Terra One? Last I heard, the board was just... Well, sorry about. Oh, a lot of sl uh, Have a look. All right, let's actually do this. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry, am I causing a scene? See him, Furo? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Something I can help you with? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. 
I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Not without dispensation from Chief Ju... We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Take care. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Sure, this is perfectly safe. I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. To the last ratchet on rotten time! Leave me in peace! You hull-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. You let a poor, ill woman get disappeared by the board? Awfully cold-blooded of you. Though I admire your backbone. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. 
Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it, and I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Oh, we gotta get out of here. Any word on Jesse? Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Spacer's choice. Pancakes.